Let's start by demonstrating the problem that we're discussing by launching the AnyConnect client and attempting to connect to the gateway. Tap in my credentials and click connect and this is the problem we're discussing. The AnyConnect package on the secure gateway could not be located. And the answer is pretty much down in the face. You need to get the package and put it on the security gateway. To do that you need to log into Cisco with a valid CCO account which is free to set up and you need a support agreement registered to your firewall device. Then you can download software. Now packages for inload into the secure gateway end in PKG and you need to find the Linux one. There it is there. Obviously this is current at time of recording, there might be a new one by the time you get around to doing it. So I'm going to download that. Yes, I would like to download it, please. Yes, I agree. <laughs> yes, like the previous two times, I would like to download it, please. Okay, that's coming down now. That's down. Okay, let's just make sure we've got it somewhere sensible. Hopefully it will have put it in downloads. And there it is there. The Linux package. So log into ASTM. If you don't know how to do this from Linux, there's a tutorial on www.peaknetlife.com. Uh, configuration, uh, remote access VPN, network client access, and you connect client settings. This is using ASTM 6.3. And you'll notice I only have the Windows one in there. So, I'm going to add and upload Browse Local Files. And remember, it was in our Downloads folder. So, if I open that up, there it is at the top. Set my Linux package. And it appears I've got an email. Upload the file. file has been logged successfully. Of course I could TFTP this in if I wanted to from command line with a copy TFTP flash command. Uh, I'm going to cancel this because I want to do this manually. Cancel out of that. And then I'm going to go back in again and click add. I'll do it this way to make sure I get both packages there. Browse flash. Select the next one. OK. OK, and hopefully, yes, now I've got two. You'll notice the Windows one is at the top. You can change the priority, but Windows gets used more often, so I'll leave that at the top. Apply. File, save running configuration to Flash. To save our hard work. Smashing. So that's the answer set up. Let's retest it from the client machine like we did earlier. Once again I'm going to launch the AnyConnect client. Now hopefully this time when I connect put my credentials in and if I go up to our little icon at the top there it says client connected. Just double click on that to check. You'll notice my connection state is connected. Tunnel's been up for about 8 seconds and that's us done. Don't forget to come and visit us for more tutorials at www.peaknetlive.com. Thank you very much.